So today I thought we would talk about seasonal direct mail. I've got some great examples of recent direct mail pieces that I think are, are really well done for a variety of reasons. There's also uh, uh, a theme here where some of these are for acquisition purposes. So uh, in some cases, the businesses or the organizations are trying to bring in new customers. And in other cases, the organization is trying to retain their existing customers. So let's dive in and get a, uh, get a closer look at these. Um, this first piece is for a local lawn uh, service provider. and at first glance, maybe there's nothing special about it, right? It's a small little postcard, um, you know, with a truck on it, nothing special. But it's actually really effective, and here's the reason. It's super, super small. So in most cases, the larger the direct mail piece is, the better it will perform and the more visibility it will have. But in this case, they went so small that it actually stands out. In fact, when you're grabbing the mail out of the mailbox, if you're not careful, this piece might fall to the ground on its own. Um, so it, it, it grabs your attention because you don't want to drop it almost, uh, which is interesting. The other thing I like about this piece is even though uh, there's nothing, uh, you know, um, fancy about it, it's got um, some variable data printing. And what they're basically doing is showing me or whoever the recipient is the other homes in that neighborhood where they provide their services. So in this case, these are two of my neighbors, um, you know, not far down the street that are using them. And what that does is it basically tells me, okay, I can trust these guys. My neighbors are using them. They have nice looking lawns. I could too. And all of this kind of, you know, um, social indicators and authority indicators that say, hey, um, if you're looking for a lawn care service provider, we're a really good idea. So um, in that regard, I think this is a unique piece. It's really small. It's got a uh, good use of uh, a marketing tactic here with the local homes. Um, and I thought it was well done. Uh, next up is uh, a place called Kings Dominion. This is an amusement park uh, in the Richmond area. And um, they're basically promoting a brand new uh, roller coaster that they've opened. So this piece is uh, unique because it's, it's a fold out. It's almost like a little booklet. So uh, it's really well done, you know, bright colors, you know, these big words like amazing, fun. Uh, you can see 1875. Um, and then you've got all these, you know, uh, rides and kind of events that they're promoting. So uh, it's just beautifully designed, uh, good use of space and imagery. Um, but a couple of things that stand out is that, you know, there's a monthly payment program. Okay. And then there's also uh, a complimentary admission for the entire season right for a toddler so if they're you know if you, if you have a small child or children in your home ages three to five you can literally go to the park and they're free all right so all of these things combined right a new ride monthly payments uh free uh entry for kids and you know a bunch of uh kind of you know selling points here uh, i think this is an effective piece um, so i thought that was well done uh, it stands out um, they're trying to sell a season's pass um, they're making it really easy to afford and throwing in some additional perks like new rides and uh, free access for small kids next up is a retention piece. So this is a piece for the Science Museum of Virginia. Uh, it's a big, it's a really grand old building. Uh, it's a beautiful science museum with all kinds of fun activities, educational seminars, and all kinds of great stuff to do. And we're actually existing customers of theirs. We have been for several years. We've got a small kid in the home, and he loves to learn about science and, you know, get hands-on with things. So uh, this piece um, came to us uh, as a way to retain our business. Uh, as soon as you open it, it's got two things. It's got a really striking image, uh, you know, promoting their Body Worlds uh, exhibit which shows you, you know, kind of how animals work and all their body parts and all that cool stuff. But right below that, there's a whole calendar of events. So this is really helpful if you're a parent or if you're looking for things to do in the spring and summer. You know, maybe it's a rainy day and you need to get out of the house and do something. Um, so this is really handy. And this is something that I think a lot of parents would just stick on their fridge with a magnet and just kind of keep it around. 
So I thought that was smart. Um, it's also got, you know, obviously a custom image here, which is striking. Uh, some kind of cool uh, events and, and things they're going to promote. So I just thought this was uh, a great way to keep uh, their existing members engaged and keep them, keep them coming back for more. Uh, after all, every time uh, you visit uh, a place where you have a membership, they typically profit again, right? You know, you're buying food, you're buying drinks, you're buying t-shirts, you're doing activities. You're basically spending money, even if you've already bought the season's pass, uh, the more often they get you back, um, you know, it's a good thing for them. So I thought this was a, a great uh, retention piece. They're not really trying to sell me directly. It's just, you know, hey, we've got new stuff. We've got our new calendar published. Come check it out. All right. And last but not least is this giant postcard from a window service. So uh, it's pretty straightforward, right? It's a giant postcard. It instantly grabbed my attention just because it was huge. And right in the middle here, um, you'll see the whole postcard theme is kind of blue and white, but they've got this big red high contrast offer. It's very aggressive, you know, buy one, get one free, 40% off, no money down, no payments, no interest for a year. So if you're looking to uh, replace your windows in your home, if you're looking for a great deal, maybe you're concerned about how much it will cost, you know, this stuff typically isn't uh, cheap by any means. Um, they're trying to, to make it clear that, you know, they're going to be an affordable provider. Um, and it's also uh, tied to a sense of urgency, right? So here it's early May right now, and you can see that this thing has got about a two week lifespan, this promotion. Um, and then on the back again, they're reinforcing that, right? The same offer again, hurry, this window offer, you know, ends May 13th. So it's really all about, this is a great deal. Uh, it ends soon and it's a very transactional uh, type of new customer acquisition direct mail piece, but I think it works. Um, you know, they didn't cut any corners. They're getting very aggressive. It's a giant piece, which is great since uh, windows and things pertaining to the home tend to be very visual. These are all great things and it's very clear and simple. So um, I thought this was a great example. Now, when you look at all of these together, again, getting back to the original theme, right, is seasonality. Um, it's getting warm out. Uh, people are looking to do things outdoors. They want to get out of the house after a long winter. Um, and an amusement park is a great way to do that. It's a great time for them to sell seasons passes. Uh, the science museum, you know, again, it's a calendar of activities that are going to last all spring and summer. Um, the lawn care service, right? Uh, when the, when the weather warms up, people start thinking about their home and their lawns. The timing uh, for that is critical because if they wait too long, they'll lose that homeowner to another lawn service provider. And again, uh, with the window company, uh, same deal, right? You know, people, when it gets warm out, they think about, you know, what does my home need? Um, I'm going to have to cut on the AC soon. And if I don't have uh, these old windows replaced, I'm going to pay all the time with higher energy bills. So all of this stuff works together. Um, some of it is promoting fun. Some of it is promoting um, savings or, or benefits kind of long term. And others are basically just saying, you know, hey, uh, it's time to come back and see us again. But it's all tied to that broader theme of seasonality. So I thought this would be a good video today because there's a lot of uh, talk in the marketing community about seasonality, uh, especially when it comes to direct mail, but there's not a whole lot of content uh, surrounding this topic out there. So I figured, you know, why not take a shot? Let's see uh, if people like this type of content, if you like seeing these actual direct mail pieces and kind of the thinking behind them. So if you do like this, please subscribe, give us a like, drop us a comment. Uh, we'd like to have this you know, be a two-way conversation and we wanna give you what you want. And uh, of course, we'll try to keep coming up with uh, ideas and cool topics to, uh, to cover here as well. So thanks again, have a great day and don't forget uh, to like us and subscribe.